Welcome to Your Daily Five. Hi, I'm Bruce Frazier. I'm your host today. This is a very special episode. It's a Wyckoff workshop on trend line construction. We will use the Sharp Charts tools to annotate our charts with trend lines. Wyckoff is an exceptional, unique methodology for drawing trend lines. And what you're going to discover is that it will massively help your trading. It is a unique tool like no other in technical analysis. It's very old school, but you can see it's very powerful. So with that, let's get started. Please take some time and look at this Wyckoff workshop trend line construction that I recorded on October 30th. This is the foundational principles of how to draw Wyckoffian trend lines. I think you'll find it to be very helpful and useful to you. Also, I want to point out that there are three tape reading technique workshops that I did with Ramon Bogomazov. We did a, a series on October 9th, November 6th and November 13th. They are really exceptional. Ramon did a wonderful job. These are workshops we're doing into the end of the year to help to uh, demonstrate the Wyckoff principles. And there are so many of them that are in the methodology. So please uh, go take a look at those also. When we draw trend lines, we want to look at the largest time frame that we could possibly be working in. In this case, we're using AMD as our case study for this episode. So we're really only going to look at one chart today or one stock, but we're going to look at a few charts. Here you can see this back to 2011. We have a big history. There's a very large uptrend in AMD. We draw our trend lines by identifying two key adjacent lows to draw a demand line. So here you can see this decline here. This decline here is approximately the, uh, the same duration and extent. So uh, let's draw a trend line on this low here and this low here and extend it all the way up. And wow, great trend line. Notice the touches, touch here, touch here, touch here, touch here. These touches all are potential trading points. As soon as we had on the weekly chart, a trend line that we could draw on this point and this point, we extend that trend line out into the future. The beauty of sharp charts are that we can draw the trend line continue to add data over time and be able to trade that trend line uh, with exceptional clarity. So uh, the other thing that we want to do is we want to save our work. So in this case, uh, I've already given this a name uh, and you go over to this tray and save the chart. The next thing we want to do is we want to draw a trend channel and the trend channel is you hold down the control key, click on the trend line, and you get a parallel. So we draw the parallel and we put it on the intervening high. And so here we see that the trend line, once we get this point on this intervening trend line, we grab the handle on the left, the one on the right stays uh, fixed, and then we can just touch this point right here, we have a beautiful trend channel. In this case, we're trading very, very far away from the trend channel for the moment. We may have to use this trend channel later. This is called an overbought line. We're going to delete it for the moment. Now, there are other trend lines here, but these touches, once we have these two points, these are all trading points that we can trade in the future. Phenomenal, what a powerful tool. This is a very practical episode on how to draw these trend lines. So let's just move this trend line away for a minute. And we want to draw, let's give it a different color. We want to draw a trend line on this point and this point. 
right here because and there could be uh, some important trading opportunities in that channel. So we go again to the trend line tool, touch it here, and then we on this low and this low, we have a trend line. We're gonna give it a different color. Let's color it blue. And now we can, again, holding down the control key or the command key in uh, on an apple, we pick the intervening high and we put this trend line on the intervening high, giving us an all important channel. In this channel, you can see the overbought conditions that come into play on this channel over the course of uh, more than a year of trading. Very, very important. We are going to always draw our channel lines, our overbought lines or oversold lines as dotted lines because visually we'll immediately be able to see what our thinking was when we drew the trend lines. So here is a trend channel that we can work with. Now, the thing is, we want to convert these trend channels to uh, a daily chart. But there's one other trend line I'd like to draw. Reverse use a trend line on this peak right here and this peak right here. Look at how beautifully this picks up the overbought condition right here on this climactic surge in the third quarter of 2020. This is a primary trend line called a reverse use of trend lines. We want it to be a solid line. We'll give it a different color just so that we can uh, keep track of this. And then we'll move this trend line back and put it in place. And we can see here that we've got a series of different trend lines. Now these trend lines, we wanna to convert to a daily chart. So we go over to our tray or hit control S and save our work. We click on this X up here, takes us out. All this is saved now, but here's the thing. If we take it to a daily chart, we lose our work. <clears throat> here's a daily chart of the same time frame. Now there's a very important reason for us doing this. So I've saved this work. Hold on, I'm gonna pause a sec and I'll be right back with a daily chart. I have moved over these trend lines onto that daily chart that we just made. You can see that they're all in here. There's a reason that we do this. And of course, most of you and I, most of us will trade on daily charts. We wanna pick up the weekly work. We have a huge amount of data here, historic data, but we want to uh, bring zoom in once we have these trend lines drawn so look what we're able to do. So I have, uh, we can just take and um, reduce the number of periods, or in this case, I'm gonna go down to a year and uh, you can see what happens when we do that. Look, as soon as we go down to a year, we have all of our trend lines that we've drawn historically and they're all here with the appropriate touches and so on. Look at these beautiful, uh, returns down to the demand line. This is produces a rally. Here's a near touch here. Notice the overbought condition. The throw over here is a near touch of the reverse use of trend lines. We know that because it's a solid line and then a run up and throw over and a failure. And look at how this climactic surge discussion for another day, but very interesting throws over and now we have a range bound condition in AMD. So uh, we get all of this from doing this great trend line work. So here looks like the top, a very important trend line is a horizontal trend line, which is an overbought line or what we would call a resistance line. And uh, let's just make this uh, a black line, just to distinguish it. We hold down the control key and drag down and here we get a support line. Look at how beautifully this is working. These are trend lines also. Now, we're going to uh, zoom in and do some more work here, but uh, let's pause again. Once we have our trend lines drawn, we can zoom in, zoom out, 
in the time frame that we're most interested in, in this case daily, but we can do this intraday, weekly, monthly even. And I do all of those time frames when I'm drawing trend lines. It's actually the first thing I do is to draw trend lines. So here you can see this point, and I put little boxes here so that you can identify very quickly where you originated your trend lines. And here's the overbought line drawn on the intervening high. Notice that after this low is put in, there is a beautiful run upwards from uh, September, October into February where a overbought condition is made and then a reaction. Look at the sharp reaction. This is the COVID decline. But this is a very, const very constructive because it's acting better than the market as a whole. We can see the trend line is very much intact, becomes oversold at the demand line and turns right off of that again, goes into a, a reaccumulation consolidation, comes down and attempts to retest the demand line. Well, we drew a trend line here too, this low and this low. And these trend lines very much could be in play, but look what we have here now. We have three important trend lines that AMD has thrown over the top of on a climactic surge with gaps here, big demand bar here, throws over and then tests it and fails back in. Potentially this could be distribution. But the thing that we know is that once we get an overbought condition on these trend lines, that these uh, overbought conditions are opportunities for us to sell stock as we see a very uh, climactic, emotional gapping runs into this overbought condition on three different levels on the daily chart. We can zoom in, zoom out on these trend lines over and over again and uh, look at larger and smaller time frames. So let's go down again to the one year time frame and look at the trading that we have. Here are these three points, and all we've done is just ch change time frames on the chart that we have. So we could zoom out uh, at some future date and look at all the points that we've drawn from. The other thing that we can do with sharp charts is that we can uh, annotate the our thinking. Uh, on these charts by drawing uh, key uh, notes, et cetera. And now uh, the other thing that we have that is of interest is that we want to make sure that we've drawn our uh, resistance lines. And so here you can see uh, this resistance line. If we draw it by holding down the uh, Alt key, then what it does is it gives us a um, horizontal line an absolutely perfect horizontal line. We're gonna make this a solid line. And then here, control, hold down the key. And on this important reaction off that climactic peak, we draw a support line. And look at how well this is trading in that zone. So these trend line techniques are exceptionally useful to us. Now, we would be looking for some attempt either to rally up into an overbought condition again, which would be a secondary test of this up thrusting action here, or potentially we now look at this test. We've rallied up to resistance, turned back down. We can see that it's a pretty sharp break. And now the attempt to rally is coming on diminishing volume. So this has at least the look of potential uh, distribution on a minor scale, and that could take AMD down to one of these lower trend lines again, which would potentially create a great trading opportunity from the long side in AMD. So uh, we will continue to look and watch how it trades in the channel here, but now we have what appears to be a range bound market with volume coming in. And so uh, this trend line work has done an exceptional job of helping us to understand what AMD is trying to do here. And with that, I'll let you go. I hope this was helpful and we will talk to you next time. 
Hey, Grayson Rhodes here with Stock Charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider giving it a like down below. Maybe leave us a comment. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe at the link up above. We're gonna bring you daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial experts.